Like a dream entertainment. Like a dream TV. Showing you the dream. Hey, this is Joel, your tutor on Like a Dream TV. Hello, I am Joel. In today's tutorial I will be teaching you how to animate characters for movies via Postmax mobile application which can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified instantly whenever a new tutorial is posted on this channel. For today's tutorial we will make use of three different types of applications. 1. Postmax 2. Kinemaster 3. Vidma Recorder. All this application can be downloaded on Google Play Store. But before we get started with the tutorial, let's hear a word from our sponsor. I am right back. Okay, let's start the tutorial now. First thing first, you click on Play Store, and in the set box, just type Pose Max, and uh, it brings out the result. Then click on the image and make sure you download Pose Max. Also, in this tutorial, we also need Can Master and also Vidma Recorder, which is a screen recorder, and you can use any one that you know how to use best if you have any other type of screen recorder. Now let me launch my Postmax application. It takes me to the character editing environment. As you can see, I can zoom out and zoom in. Also, I can rotate my character. Postmax is very possible for me to change the type of character that I want to use for my animation. As you can see right now, I'm selecting different characters, and also I can go below and select another character that is already pre-made, just like this one. Yeah, and also on Pose Max, it allows you to change the poses of each character that you're trying to use. Just like you see right now, um, click on the poses from the top menu and I will change the poses of the character as you can see I'm pushing on the slider right now to change the way the character react to the poses so you can see that it's going left and right up and down just like that you can do the same thing by pushing the slider at the bottom of the screen also from the left menu at the top of the screen you can select the body part that you want to change the way it reacts when you push the slider you can change the poses by clicking on the body pads from the top left menu just like the one you're seeing right now and uh, you see the head is going left right going up and down when I push the slider it changes its reactions so what you just have to do is uh, click on the left menu at the top and then select the body part that you want to change its poses and you push the slider at the bottom as you can see the character is actually raising her hands up and down left and right based on what I'm pushing through the slider you know what I'm saying and so as you can see now it's rotating now I'm going to jump to the character animation yeah, from the top menu I'm going to select the uh, animation and that's what you see right on the screen right now I just selected a dancing animation as you see the character is actually dancing also I just selected a walking animation as you can see the character is actually walking so there are a lot of preset animation on max pose which you can select and make the character do whatever you want as you can see now the character is side walking all right now let me jump into the animation process proper so you can get everything you need to know 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on settings at the top right of the application. Now make sure I change the background color to green. And also at the top left, I'm gonna select the grid and I'll make sure I select no grid to make the green plain. And the next thing I'm doing right now is I'll just go to my Vidma application, minimize my Android window, go to my Vidma application and select record. Then I'll go back to my Pose Max and uh, click on the animation and allow the character to move in the direction that I want. Or if there is a pose I want the, the character to do, I'll make sure I push the slider left and right to make sure the character does that while the Vidma is recording the screen. So the next thing is I'm going to stop my Vidma right now. And that's what I've just did. So I'm going to use my Google to search for a background that I'm going to use with the animation. So my Google Chrome, I'm going to search image of a cartoon street. So I found some here. Now I'm going to hold down the button on the image I want and click on download. So let me select one more image. All right, I found this. I hold my finger on the screen and click on download also. Now the next thing is for me to launch my kind master video editing application so i can edit everything that i want to do on the animation so the first thing is uh, i just wait for the kind master to load up yeah i'm gonna click update later the, it's asking me to update my resources but i'll do that later now i'm gonna click on new editing i'll select system by nine now i'm gonna select the location of where my background for the animation is now select the right folder and uh select the first background that's it the background is now loaded into the editing environment so now i'm gonna click on layer so when i click on layer i try to locate the the animation I actually record on the Vidma recording screen. So now I'm selecting the animation I recorded on the Vidma screen. So that's it. It's loaded into the environment. As you can see now, I just click on the play button. Just uh, I'm trying to find the the right direction for the first animation. So now that's it. That's the clip already cut away the parts which i don't need right now and so i want the animation to walk straight from the end of the street to the to the to the front of the street now the first thing is uh, i'm gonna crop as you can see i'm gonna crop that crop away all the other noise area of the animation now i'm gonna set the animation to the bottom of the street to align with the road so the next thing is i click on my chroma key to remove the green ba background and that's it the green background has been removed so the next thing is for me to click on the animation key which is at the left of the screen the animation key uh, uh, the animation key is uh, is at the left of the screen it looks like a key that's it you click on it now you move the timeline a little bit forward then you click on the plus sign at the right side of the animation that's it i've clicked on it now the next thing is for you to move the character downward okay like i did i moved it downward you don't need to click the key anymore the keyframe will automatically be added by itself that's it now if you want to animate again all you just have to do is keep moving the timeline the keyframe will be added automatically now another keyframe has been added now i want to zoom the character so i've zoomed it and placed it back to where it belongs but there is a keyframe there already and so you can see i've moved it back that's the testing moves you can see the character moves from the end of the street to the front. Now I'm gonna click on the split button on the layer 
so reason why i'm clicking on the split button is because i want to select the other direction of the character facing left and i'm moving to the left side so that's why i i decided to cut that layer right there so now that's that now i've splitted the the layer now i've selected the new direction for the character so the keyframe is already there so i'm gonna click the first keyframe for the new direction and uh, i'll move the timeline a little bit and the keyframe has been added so for it to work to the end of the street i don't need to click on the plus sign anymore all i just have to do is move the character to the end of the street the new keyframe will be added by itself well, that is that so once again i'm gonna split the layer once again and also i'm deleting the videos that i don't need because they are too lengthy right there now i want to use a new background so the character can work from the first background to the second background now i'm gonna select the video and uh, make sure i select the right location for the new background and that's the new background that i've been loaded onto the screen so the character is gonna work from the first background to the second background so what i need to do is click on the layer once again and uh, you know i split the layer now the character is big i have to resize it to the size of the character from the first background so that it could work directly into the second background now i've resized it now i've placed it to the first part of the street which is at the right end so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the animation key and i'll move the timeline a little bit and click this plus sign so once you click the plus sign you don't need to keep clicking it all the time so the next thing you do is move the character to the end the other end of the street which is at the left and then the keyframe will be added automatically by itself so i'm done so all i just have to do is click the play button for the character to to move that's all thanks for watching that is just the rough short video for today in the next video i will be showing you how to add a voiceover to animated character either through kinemaster or using another very important application which i will tell you about after that i will make another video of how you can add props like houses cars etc to the characters you made on pose max and your character will fully sync along with them in order not to miss all this important tutorials please share our page with others click the subscribe button like our channel and also comment in the box below should you have any question i will really appreciate if you can help like a dream tv hit at least 1000 subscribers so that we can serve you better by uploading more educative videos have a nice day this is joel signing out bye